you know, when uh, there was a lockdown, mm -hmm. you know, people got used to staying at home mm -hmm. and doing meetings from home. And I think people have begun to revert back to that. Why? Because of the fuel scarcity. Oh, there is a fuel scarcity? Oh. <laughs> I did not know. But honestly, I did not know. And I'll tell you why I didn't hmm. know. First off, um, I'm not one who uses too much of uh, mm. um, okay. PMS, uh, yeah. fuel. Yeah. Um, yes, maybe for my generator when mm. there's no power. But uh, mm. I've got that well stored and everything. So mm. I, can ex I, can, I can span for about a week and a half or maybe even two. Okay. Um, I've always told people this. You have to note that when you live in a place like Lagos, it is not any time to start splurging on a big ride or a big car. If you have a big car, that means you can afford a smaller one. Yeah. So why don't you have one? For many years, I've had two different uh, set of I've had I've, two I've engines, driven at least I've mm -hmm. driven picantos. Okay, yeah. And I'm a tall guy of six two. When mm -hmm. people see me come out of a picanto all dressed up and everything, and they know what I do, mm -hmm. they're like, "Why do you drive such a small car?" Mm -hmm. I'm like, "I drive it because it's fuel efficient." Mm -hmm. As of mm -hmm. five years ago, I used to use three thousand five hundred naira for an entire week from Festac all the way to the island where I used to work. The mm -hmm. entire week, and wow. I mean seven days, not five days. Three thousand wow. five hundred naira. Mm -hmm. Currently, I use such a small car, maybe mm -hmm. just slightly bigger, mm -hmm. but. I can still do about 5,000 hours for an entire week of seven days, so 5,000, five, or maybe six. So I'm okay when it comes to so that situation. So really, this is something mm. that uh, abroad people have put into consideration for years and years and years. They, they drive mostly smaller vehicles, smaller engines. City cars. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even when it comes to parking in mm -hmm. certain places. Yeah. When you have to smaller vehicles pay for parking are easier. And mm -hmm. True, we are not a, it's not in our makeup mm. to be um, to Prudence? be frugal. Frugal. Yeah, frugal. it's not yeah. it's not there at all. We don't mm. we don't see it there. Look, everybody's thinking of it is. Uh, I I just saw one motivational one more motivational it's like champion. So, you know, say, <laughs> say instead of you rather than be a lord in a ghetto, go to highbrow area uh -huh. and be a normal be guy. A normal guy. Uh -huh. Uncle Reno, and I, I like see wow. that is because of wow. where we are. If he goes to the UK or wherever he is in the mm -hmm. UK, you know how the kind of how you yeah. when you're thinking of rent and all that, you go to where your pockets can distance. Someone exactly. says, you know, but yeah. because of that, I so that's why you see a guy just sitting and driving a V8. Yeah, yeah, and he's, he's, house, he's, rent, he's in a rented apartment. And, exactly. and then, and then and, you he, know, his fuel tank is on red almost all the time. True. You know, so, so I the big cars are usually empty tanked. <laughs> you know, what does that say I mean, for your personality you said, you and said, person in you person? Said something about, you said something about using 3.5 yeah. for a whole week. I know somebody who was using a V8 car and the person was going 5K mm. for fuel in yeah. one week. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But uh, no, know, sorry, no, sorry, not one week. Mm. In one day, one movement. Mm. Aja to mm -hmm. mainland. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, wow. one day. One day. Yes. One day. Now, while we're talking about the I whole fuel mainland. situation and mm. why it might be okay to be frugal, mm. the nation is going through a big bite right now. Yeah. I've been across the country over the weekend, mm. uh, and um, this is even worse in places like mm. Abuja, mm. especially Abuja and in uh, Niger State as well. Now, this is a problem that we didn't cause. This is not a problem that's caused by the fact that, or a fact that there was, uh, 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 there's no fuel in the country. There is fuel in the country, mm -hmm. but there's adult freight of fuel. Mm -hmm. Now, from what I hear, they're trying to manage the situation by selling still the old stock, but mixing it with newer stock that got better proportions of what's methanol. that chemical, methanol in yes. it now. Mm -hmm. But they're still going to mix it. At the end of the day, we're still going to suffer it. You and I, we're yeah. still going to suffer a mistake that was made, that was made by the government. <laughs> But, so and it just annoys me. And, well, <laughs> the, the, yeah, they're also reports about having uh, getting a new um, a shipment yeah. or consignment yeah. of fuel and all of that, and that's all. So yeah. it would take like maybe a week for so, it to effectively. You so know, funny go enough, around. last week there was all a consignment that. that came into though that was on the way, but it was turned back. Why? Because uh, of the level of methanol in it. So they are still trying to, the government is still trying to be a little careful on what they allow into the country. It still brings to the same so, thing that one of the biggest oil, uh, uh, we have oil, well, like one of the biggest oil producing oil, countries, oil yeah. producing countries, and we're still having to import fuel. I mean, come mm -hmm. on, man. We have been it's waiting for those yeah, refineries no. to come somebody, back online somebody, for a long somebody, time. Somebody put, out a, mm -hmm. somebody put out a thread. If it was reading that thread, you would, you would be depressed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talking about how much we're spending, mm -hmm when it comes to subsidy, and mm. how much it will cost just to get those refineries running. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. it's penny-wise pound foolish. Mm. In the end. Yeah. I, yeah. Oh, uh, it's, it's crazy. But it's crazy. But the thing we is, should, I, I mean, I mean. It's going to pinch more what? before it gets better. That's the, that's the thing. Well, so mean the general the, situation or just general, this? Generally speaking, so I think the amount for subsidy that is still on ground takes us till June. 
according to what is, you know, we've been reading in the papers. Mm. So they're going to revisit this whole idea of, you know, taking the subsidy away well, again. We but, know what's going to happen when they do that. But, but the, then again... So but the point now but, is that people are, people are buying... People mm. are paying extra per litre, and then they have to pay if you're driving oh, yeah. the car. Mm. You have to pay with 500 naira yeah. extra. Our producer, Mr. To Francis' grandpa, mm. actually said this morning that he finally mm. bought fuel. Mm. He's a pilot, by the way. He finally bought fuel, mm. uh, only to find out that he's buying at 180 naira per litre, mm. and then he had to pay 500 naira just to access it. Mm. And I'm like, what's the 500 naira for again? Mm. And who's actually responsible for all these? Mm. Extortions? Is it the patrol attendants or the management of the patrol stations, or who's regulating all this? Isn't there supposed to be a body that it's says quite, it's actually, this is what they do? So there are some filling stations that have managers who are very strict. So there's a particular one in the neighborhood I am where the manager literally sits there watching the attendants because he's trying to stop them from one doing exactly what right what Mr. Yeah. Francis was complaining about. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, his eyes can't be everywhere. Yeah. So. They understand the rules, regulations. There are actually people that are going around monitoring these filling stations. Mm -hmm. But once it's dark, yeah. once it's 7, 7.30, uh, all the opportunities come out. So, but really, you can't really discourage people from making a little extra cash. The, the, point, the point is that most of the, these ones that do it are, mm. they do it in co-caput with your managers. Yeah. The mm. manager doesn't even have to sit down to ensure that it doesn't happen. Very true. All this is a complaint. Wow. And he's out. Do you understand? Mm, but yeah. most the ones that do it, they're in Kahoot at the end. If I do this person one, one, forget the meter. It's on paper and calculate. That they're calculating. That they're calculating. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is your money. And then, and then they're no. mine. So that means that from Jeez. every meter, they are getting 5, 10, 15 naira. Hmm. And then, of course, what you pay on, on it. Wow. Goodness me. Listen, guys, we know we're all in this together. We're mm -hmm. suffering it too. But try and be a bit more frugal. Mm. And uh, hey, don't worry. Uh, this will all be over Amen in just a little time. Stay tuned. It's Wake Up Nigeria.